Shout out to Cardi B. Now, this is a segue to Nicki Minaj. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Hold up. Shout out to Nicki Minaj and that new project. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday. Nicki Minaj has a new project, you guys. All right? Shout out to Nicki. And Nicki's talking that shit. Listen. Shots fired. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Listen, Nicki Minaj talking that shit. Nicki Minaj has dropped a new project called Pink Friday. I was doing stream numbers on Billboard 200. She's at number one. She got the number one spot. She's projected to sell 200,000 records, 200, 200 units, 200,000 units for the first week. Hold up, man. Hold up. Let, let's, let's, let's cap it up for Nicki. Now, listen, Nicki talking that shit. Y'all know Nikki's going off on everybody. You know Nikki is the new crowned woman 50 cent, right? If y'all don't know, Nikki Minaj is the feminine version, the woman version of Curtis Jackson of 50 cents. Yeah, she's from Jamaica, Queens, too. She's from Queens. I have no, I think Southside. Southside, I, yeah. She's the new woman 50 cent. Now, you see 50's always giving her, 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 her flowers. 50 loves what, what, it's safe to say, 50 loves what Nikki's doing. He loves the attitude that she adopted from him. All right? Nikki's not having it. Nikki's talking shit about Megan Thee Stallion. You know Nikki was going up against Lotto. You know Nikki had her prior beats with Little Kim, which I wish that was squash. You know Nikki got her problems with Cardi B, which I wish that was squash. I wish the women would squash all that beef, to be honest with you. But let's talk about it. We're here for it. Nicki Minaj dropped a new album, and on the album, she's speaking about Megan Thee Stallion. She's talking about how Megan Thee Stallion, she, 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 she uh, believes Megan Thee Stallion was still in her style. There's a lot of similarities that she recently put up. She showed that she dropped the video with her hair slicked back, looking oily, and, and, and Megan Thee Stallion dropped the video with her hair slicked back, looking oily, in the desert. Super similar. They're saying that Megan Thee Stallion stole Iggy Azalea's style. They're saying that she stole Iggy Azalea, the white girl from Australia, the one that everybody hated on. They're saying that Meg Thee Stallion stole her style. They even showed Meg Thee Stallion. She had, I don't know if they had the same Ghost Rider, but there's a song that they was copying the same style. Megan has a song that's a similar, the same rhyme pattern as Iggy Azalea. So they're saying that Meg is, is yapping. She, she's jacking other people's style. She's jacking Nikki's style, and she's jacking Iggy Azalea's style, which Nikki brought it to everybody's attention. Now, Nikki's saying that she did try to embrace the new women, the new breed of women coming in. Nicki Minaj was speaking about. But nonetheless, Nicki Minaj is calling everybody out. Let's, let's get this clear. Nobody is safe with Nicki Minaj right now. If you have an issue with Nicki Minaj, you're in, you're in trouble. Nicki Minaj even spoke about Elliot Wilson and said, if you could take Jay-Z's dick out your mouth. I believe that's what she said, take Jay-Z's dick out your mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. She called that nigga a dick eater. Damn, damn. Hold up, shots fired, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, 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 this man's always uh, always getting uh, stray bullets hitting this man. Elliot Wilson, poor job. You know I hate you we say, poor job. He's a punching bag. Elliot Wilson. Shout out to Elliot Wilson. But you, you're a punching bag, people. And, and the sad thing is, I don't really see you retaliating. I don't see you stick up for yourself. All right? But Nicki Minaj is going at everybody. Nobody's safe. And it seems like day by day, she's letting the numbers reflect. And since she dropped the album, she's letting the numbers reflect. All right? Also... Now, nah, definitely, I feel you, Biz. I feel sorry for Elliot Wilson, though he's he's a, a, a creditable journalist in hip hop. Let's shoot him some bell. Elliot Wilson is a creditable, a very creditable journalist in hip hop. Elliot Wilson, he's creditable. All right, he's authentic. He really loves the. He has a history. He has a reputation in hip hop. How would you say he has credentials? He has maybe even considered seniority. But though his seniority, sometimes it doesn't cash in because people go to other platforms rather than him. All right, but nonetheless, shout out to, and, and even did, even Noriega, didn't Nori Dream Champs, he shitted on Elliot Wilson? There was a beef, there was a problem there because the, that nigga, uh, uh, Noriega catapulted 
into the, the, this this fear of uh this the sphere of uh the the sphere of 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 the realm of podcasting. He catapulted as an artist. Elliot Wilson didn't like that. How the way he just catapulted, he just accelerated so fast. So he was kind of mad at Noriega because Noriega was garnishing different uh different people to come on his show. There were some major artists that went on Nori's show as opposed to going on Elliot Wilson's show. But you guys know it's like the, the, the prisoners run the building now. You got the prisoners running the building now. It's a little bit different now. All right? It's not fun when the rabbit got the gun. But nonetheless, uh, she shitted on uh, Elliot Wilson. Facts, though. Let me, let me get a bomb. Nikki shitted on Elliot Wilson. You guys, Nicki Minaj's new album, 200 units, is, is projected to sell 200,000 units. It's number one on Billboard Top 200. All right? Now, she also, Nicki sent more shots, all right? And this one right here, this, this one, I'm not getting in between this because you already know I'm a, I'm a Kanye advocate. I'm an advocate for Kanye West, for Yeezy, all right? Now, nonetheless, uh, Kanye did a, a, a song. He has a track, a record that he did with Nicki Minaj. And according to Nikki, this record is three years old. All right? Um, it's called New Body. The record's called New Body. Now, what I'm hearing is, because I recall around this, I recall what happened around this time, but them bringing up the information is making me recollect now, right? It's bringing it back to my attention. In which Kanye reached out to Nicki Minaj and Kanye asked Nicki, can he release, he want to speak to Nicki about releasing this track that they did three years ago called New Body. Now, this is on the hills. Presumably, this is on the hills of Nicki Minaj's new success with the new Pink Tape 2, Pink Friday 2, 200,000 records sold, projected to sell first week, number one on Billboard. So Kanye wants to jump on that bandwagon. Kanye wants to jump on that marketing, that marketing bandwagon. He wants to hop on the boat. He don't want to get left behind. So Kanye dropping a new project. He wants to drop this song with, with, with Nicki that he been had. But this is the problem with it. Shout out to Rudolph Bartman in the building. I see you, brother. This is the problem with it. According to reports, they're saying that Nicki was edging, pushing Kanye to drop that track three years ago. Three years ago. You guys know Kanye is known for getting ridiculed for doing music with artists and not actually putting it on his project. You remember when Soldier Boy went off on Kanye, right? Soldier Boy went on a tirade with Kanye. Damn, nigga, y'all dropped the verse. You made me rewrite my verse. Whoop de woo, whoop de woo. Kanye, you ain't put the song out. He was hot because you know these artists. You know when Kanye's dropping and Kanye actually, first of all, when Kanye actually to be on a on a, on a, on his album, right? These are artists that are credible artists. These are big artists in their own regard, right? But Kanye's slightly bigger. Pause. So now you already presumably you thinking that you're going to be on Kanye's project. You start running and telling your family and friends, yo, listen, I'm going to be on Kanye's new project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like that. Kanye chose me. Kanye flew me out to, to, to Wyoming, to, to wherever he's at. He flew me out personally. Kanye flew me out personally. I'm dropping on Kanye's new album. Just listen for it. It's coming out. So now they're promoting Kanye's projects. But unbeknownst to them. When the album comes out, their song's not on there. Their verse is not on that project. That's where Kanye gets the ridicule. That's where Kanye gets attacked. Now, I'm not going to argue about Kanye's methods. I don't make multi-Grammy winning albums, okay? I don't know what it's like to have such caliber artists and how you get an artist to come and do a song with you without promising them certain things, right? And then sometimes, you, you know, promises sometimes are meant to be broken. You can't keep all promises. Now, all these different people, our curators, are coming on Kanye West's project, and Kanye has to decipher what is in the best interest of the project. I ain't never been through that. So that's a little bit different. I'm pretty sure some people get hurt along the way. I'm pretty sure that's very hard because you build personal relationships with these people. You make promises that you know it wouldn't be in your best interest to, to keep. So what do you do? Save a relationship or save the project? Relationship, project. 
Project for the people, satisfy this individual. Make this friend happy. The people, the friend. Project, friend. Arts, friend. Career, friend. You see where I'm going? I'm going with career. I'm going with the people. I'm going with the project. Damn a friend. Facts, though. That's where the promise has to be broken. So Soldier Boy was on Kanye's ass, rightfully so. Right? Shots fired. Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy went on a tirade. But now it seems like the rabbit has the gun. It ain't fun when the rabbit got the gun. So now Nikki, she's at the height of her thing right now. Nikki's album is set up. It's Nikki's time right now. The, the spotlight, the big light, the big light, the Hollywood light, it's on Nicki Minaj right now. Nikki's talking shit. Nikki's talking her shit, man. Nikki's talking about all these women rappers and talking about how rap is watered down. She went to the and Nikki made some valid points. She said, yo, rap got to sound like rap. People need to start rapping again. That's the difference between Nicki Minaj and everybody else. Nicki said that the record is X. They try to what? They try to wipe her out. They try to phase. They try to phase Nicki out. Remember what Kanye West said? They try to phase Nicki out with Cardi B. Yeah, there was an agenda to get Nicki out of the game. If y'all didn't know, they try to phase Nicki Minaj out. Okay, but nonetheless, now, nonetheless, Nicki Minaj prevailed. Nicki Minaj prevailed with arts, with music, with rapping. Remember. Music defies all criticism. Music defies all suppression. You, music defies the laws of gravity. Let's make it clear. With the right music, you can break through any ridicule, any oppression, any hidden agenda, any blackball that can be, it can be uh, 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 spoiled. It could be, it could be uh, 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 debunked. And then, for lack of a better term, you can, you can avoid all that shit. You can avoid all that shit. You can spoil anybody's plan to blackball you with good music. Good music defies any hidden agenda that anybody has against you. You got to make good, valid music. That music is going to, you can't suppress good music. Music is a very deadly weapon like this show is. This show is the most dangerous show on God's green earth. Don't shoot the messenger podcast, episode number 65. So nonetheless, Nikki told Kanye, a guy that I admire, I admire Kanye. I, I admire Kanye's genuineness, his authenticity. I admire Kanye. Yeah, I do. And there's not too many people that I admire. I admire Kanye. Let me be real with you. He's still a man to me now. I wouldn't take no disrespect. I'm not a fanatic. Let's not get it twisted. He's a fucking man. But I admire the things that he do. It's okay to admire another man with his, his, uh, his accomplishments. It's okay. But nonetheless, Nikki told Kanye, Matumbo index finger. No, 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 no. And you guys know Nikki. She has like five different personalities. So Nikki kind of started doing that Roman revenge voice. Darling, you know Nikki got a whole different voice that she does. Nikki like she's possessed by different spirits. And Nikki said, Kanye, how I'm going to put out that old record? That record is three years old. Nikki took the opportunity to shit on Kanye, but she said respectfully. She still, she still spoke. With, was she? She showed some restraint. Don't get twisted. Nikki showed some restraint. She said respectfully, Kanye. That record is old. It's three years old. No, 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 no. How are we gonna do that? She showed the text of Kanye reaching out to her, but Kanye said, "I would like to call you. Can we speak about?" This new body record that she did three years ago. All right. Now think about it. If Nikki wasn't doing so successful, if Nikki wasn't in such a position right now, if she if her album didn't do that great, first of all, would Kanye really be reaching out to her to drop that record? A big piece of me says no. If Nikki wasn't doing so good and Kanye reached out to her, would Nikki have done that record? A big piece of me says yeah. But now the rapper got the gun. She can return the favor. This is all revenge. That's why I said Nikki's the new 50 Cent. She's not playing. And she has the blueprint. She's seen 50 do it. So Nikki basically just... Wah, 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 wah. Hold on. Wait one second. 
That part, Nikki just shit on Kanye. Nikki said there will be no dropping of new body, Kanye. No, I'm not. I'm not signing off on that. I'm not authorizing that. No, Kanye. No. Nonetheless, I don't think that's gonna hurt Kanye's project. Kanye is just a great marketer. And Kanye wanted to use that, knowing that on the heels of Nikki with her success with her new Pink Friday to uh, Pink Friday Two project, once again selling two hundred thousand, projected to sell two hundred thousand units, and is number one on Billboard. Okay. So shout out to Nicki Minaj, man, and shout out to Kanye. Both of them are great artists. Remember, I told you. All right? Now, you guys, once again, oh, I want to speak about one last thing, all right? 